Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. As per your request, I am uh, solving the problems of uh, model question paper 2 of question number uh, 1 and 2. I thought of solving uh, the model 5 uh, before only, but I, uh, I was not getting uh, much response from your side. That is uh, just, I was expecting uh, just like button from your side. If you press one like button, uh, that will be an encouragement for me to do more videos. Uh, so it's okay for module 5 you for module 5 you can refer my previous videos you can go through uh, the model question paper solved solved model question paper of 18, uh, 18 mat 41 scheme so i have solved completely module 5 problems over there you can refer those module 5 problems the link will be provided in the description you can refer that uh, link for module 5 problems so they have been asked a uh, defined tautology show that uh, the given compound proposition is tautology so i have constructed the truth table here you can uh, go through the truth table as we have three compound proposition uh, three propositions we need to have eight uh, truth values that is what i have taken eight uh, truth values and i have given for p q r as distribution uh, distributed here first i will find out uh, p uh, disjunction q first i will find out p disjunction q then p implies uh, r then q implies r so I will name that as uh, column as 1, 2, 3. Then I will go with uh, uh, conjunction of 1 and 2. I will name that column as 4. Uh, and then I will find out 4 conjunction 3. So I will name that column as uh, 5. So along with 5, I will go with implication with R. So that will be the last column and that column will be an tautology. So as you know the definition of uh, uh, disjunction, uh, I will see wherever we have both the way truth values are zero. So I will put a zero in all other cases. It is one if wherever we have uh, the um, truth value as P uh, truth value of P is true and Q is false. Then we will put a zero. Otherwise, uh, we will go with uh, uh, one. So that is what I have done in uh, column uh, the column two. So in uh, this column three, so wherever we have the truth value q as a true and r as a false so i have made that as a false so other cases it will be true so then uh, i will go with uh, column one conjunction column two wherever i have true means that is one i will put one in all other cases it is zero so similarly uh, four and uh, four conjunction uh, three i will go wherever i have uh, one i will go with uh, one so in all other cases it is zero so finally i will see the column phi along with phi uh, as it is conditional along with phi i will observe r here so wherever i have one and zero i will put that as zero such cases is not possible here so that's why all the truth values are one therefore the given compound proposition is tautology so for definition you can pre uh, refer my previous video so as per your request i am solving these problems so i need your uh, subscription for my channel and kindly do share this uh, video for your friends it may be helpful for them also don't forget to like this video moving on to next problem prove that the following using the laws of logic uh, by using laws of logic i need to prove that this is equivalent so consider the left hand side i have considered that part so then i will apply commutative law first so for these two i am applying commutative a conjunction uh, means uh, p conjunction q can be written as q conjunction p in the same manner i have written r conjunction q and here also r conjunction p so then i uh, i know that uh, distributive law so what is distributive law p conjunction of uh, if you have p conjunction of q disjunction r then i can write this as p conjunction q or disjunction p conjunction r so using this definition i will write this as r conjunction q disjunction p that is what i have written by using distributive law r conjunction this is conjunction r conjunction q disjunction p so similarly here uh, uh, as we have both the connectors are conjunction so i will apply associative law so i will go with changing of bracket that is what i have done in this step so then 
I will apply commutative law again here. So first I will apply R conjunction uh, negation P disjun uh, conjunction negation Q. Then inside this also I have applied uh, commutative law that is negation Q conjunction negation P. So then I will go with the uh, De Morgan's law as I know that uh, De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law says that neg negation of P conjunction Q is logically equivalent to negation p disjunction negation q using this uh, law i will apply uh, the de morgan's law here as we have negation q conjunction negation p that can be written as negation of q disjunction p now it is of the form uh, distributive law again r is uh, uh, conjunction r conjunction negation of this part uh, disjunction r conjunction of uh, q disjunction p is there so for this, I will go with uh, distributive law here. I will apply distributive law R conjunction of negation P disjunction Q disjunction P disjunction Q. So it is of the form negation P disjunction P. So I will apply inverse law. That is what I have applied. That is, is logically equivalent to true. That is what I have taken true. So by identity law, R conjunction true is always R, therefore, and so I have proved the logical equivalence by using loss of logic. For any two odd integers m and n, show that m plus n is even and m n is odd. So, as they have provided uh, two odd integers, we need to consider that is m and n. Since both m and n are odd, I am going to define m as 2u plus 1 and n as 2v plus 1. So, I am going to prove that. Uh, uh, show that uh, m plus n is even. So consider m plus n. So what is m? 2u plus 1 plus n is what? 2v plus 1. So by combining that, I am going to get 2 as common. So I am going to take out 2 common. You are left out with 2 times of u plus v plus 1. So which is nothing but 2 times of k. So where k is what? u plus v plus 1 which belongs to uh, integer itself. Therefore, Finally, I can say that m plus n, this is m plus n, m plus n is even. So, similarly, m n is odd, I am going to prove. So, uh, consider what is m, what is n, multiply these two products, multiply these two factors, I am going to get 4 times of u v plus 2 u plus 2 v plus 1. So, take out 2 common from these uh, 3 terms, I left out with 2 times of 2 u v plus u plus v plus 1. So, I will make that uh, this value as k, denote that value as k which belongs to z. So, therefore, m n will be an odd value. So, hence I have proved that yeah, if, uh, if we consider both m and n as odd, we are going to get some of those odd terms will be an even term. Product of those odd terms will be an again odd term. I have proved that part. Moving on to the choice part. Define open statement and quantifiers so i have defined the open statement here with an example it is a sentence it is a sentence which involves one or more variable one or more variable which turns out as a statement when the variable take permissible uh, values obviously these statements will be either true or false so for that I have considered one statement that is P of X as X is less than or equal to 2. So by giving X equal to 1, so definitely when I give X equal to 1, 1 is less than 2. So I, I can say that the given statement is true for X equal to 1. If I consider X equal to 3, so then that uh, statement is false since the condition for X is X is less than or equal to 2. So similarly going with the, the definition of quantifiers, quantifiers are those which quantifies the statements using the phrases or words like all, some, for each, for only, for every, for some, etc. If these words are used in the statement, we name that as quantifiers. We name that as quantifiers. For example, all squares are quadrilateral so all squares are quadrilateral i have used the word called all squares so i can say that this is an the quantifier for example 
so going with next problem write the following arguments in symbolic form and then establish the validity so they have given this some um, statements here so we need to uh, validate that whether the given uh, argument is valid or not so consider that in that uh, question i am defining p as a gets supervises position a gets supervises position position uh, p defined as uh, a works hard q has been defined as a gets rise and r um, that is uh, r is defined as a gets rise and finally yes will be he will buy a car he will buy a car a will buy a car so that is what i have defined p q r s so after defining this i will go with this statement first statement is what p conjunction q go with this if then statement if sorry if then statement the first uh, argument is if then in between i have and here in between i have and so for that reason it is if p conjunction q implies r that is what i have written if p conjunction q implies r in the next statement i have if r if r implies yes if r implies yes finally i have negation yes so therefore the given conclusion is what the given conclusion is negation p disjunction negation q so by i need to go with uh, solving this uh, whether the given argument is valid or not by using laws of uh, law uh, inference so if i use the laws of inference before that i will define t as p conjunction q as t so therefore the given statement the above statement becomes what t implies r r implies yes negation yes then therefore negation p disjunction negation q first consider the first two statements so for th those two statements i will apply rule of syllogism by rule of syllogism i can write this as what t implies yes if we have t implies r r implies yes we can write it as t implies yes so we have one more uh, statement that is negation yes i will consider that uh, statement i will apply rule of modus tollens by using rule of modus tollens we can write this as negation t but what is t t is nothing but p conjunction q negation of p conjunction q by d morgan's law we can write that as uh, negation p disjunction negation q so as we have proved that part so we can say that the given argument is valid the given argument is valid moving on to the last uh, problem of this module one so for the given uh, following statements uh, the universe uh, comprise all non zero integers non zero integers determine the truth value of each of the following statement there exist x there exist y such that x y is equal to 1 so definitely it is true i can say that the given statement is true as we can get at least one value which satisfies this condition so that is by giving x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 the value is a 1 into 1 will be 1 so therefore it is true therefore the truth value of the given statement is true moving to next problem uh, there exist x for all y such that uh, x y is equal to 1 so it is false i will say that the given truth value is false the reason behind that is it is true for all values of x but not true for y since uh, they have given there exist x x equal to i can consider x equal to 1 but for all values of y it is not true when i take x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 1 into 2 will be what 2 so therefore it is false so going with next for all x there exist uh, y such that x y equal to 1 so it is also false the similar case so the order has been changed instead of uh, for there exist x they have made that as for all x and uh, there exist y so i have taken the reason here since uh, x is equal to 3 if x is equal to 3 there is no integer y such that saying x y is equal to 1 so considering uh, the next problem there exist x there exist y 2x plus y is equal to 5 conjunction x minus 3y equal to minus 8 is true it is the given truth uh, the given uh, statement is 
true how we can say that it is true by just solving these two equation by using your calculator you can solve the equation you are going to get x value equal to 1 and y equal to 3 so for these two values so it will be true therefore there exist a solution for this uh, given statement we can say that the given uh, uh, argument is true similarly if i go with next one there exist x uh, there exist y such that uh, 3x minus y equal to 17 and uh, uh, and that is conjunction 2x plus 4y equal to 3 if i solve these two equation you are not going to get a solution it will be an infinite solution it is not an unique solution so therefore we can say that no solution we are going to get so for that reason the given statement is false here the for the the truth value for the given statement is false this is how to solve the module one it is very easy to solve so you need to know how to choose the question and how to solve the problems so if you know the concept you can solve easily i think you all understood how to how to solve the problems i think it is enough i have given uh, whatever the requirement you need i have given that much so you make useful uh, fruitfully and uh, do your exams well i wish you all the very best for your upcoming examination thank you all for watching this video